welcome back to Ganshi Plans. Today it's Sunday afternoon, chilly day out, and I am cozy in here. Um, baby's asleep, so I'm going to plan out my week for the next week. Um, if you missed my November plan with me, which I'll link in the corner, I'm using my Summer Touches um, Mon Weekly printables this month, and so this is what this looks like. I set up basically everything for the whole month in that video, and I've added a couple things as we go along, things that came up, dental appointment got added, um, and but basically all of the events and a lot of the tasks are already set up. So this is the week here that we're going to be working on today, and this is the week that just passed. It's not been too crazy. I've been in, um, continuing to try to keep my life pretty low-key because I'm still on maternity leave and there's not that much honestly I can get done in a day. You guys can't see the rest of this room. It is a mess. Um, <laughs> I started to film this earlier and then my battery died. So um, I got as far as writing down what we have in the um, in the pantry. We made a grocery order earlier last week and only ended up cooking three of the six things that I have the ingredients for. So I moved those three things over and then one more thing that um, I was going to get some baking potatoes. If we decide we need to stock up for more meals when we're doing our grocery order this week, then I will add more to this list. But for now this is what we've got planned and got currently in stock. Generally we do groceries, we do grocery pickup from Walmart because it's easy and convenient and um, We'll usually schedule an order whenever we need new milk. So we just get a gallon of milk and whenever that's up, we get a new gallon and whatever else we need. So um, I also was going to, when the camera died, move over some tasks from this week that didn't get done yet. So that's what we're working on. I need to email my work about my return to work date after maternity leave. I need to shove a blanket behind the um, car seat mirror in the car so that it stays pointed at the baby. Uh, and then we've got some Christmas stuff that's working on. Let's see, I've done these. I have a couple of other places where there are to-dos, so let me see. This section in my planner is the shop until you drop on your knees and pray Catholic Sisters Christmas shopping challenge. So basically the idea is I'm trying to get all of my Christmas shopping done before Advent. So um, we are doing these things this week. So we started on the list of things to get people. I need to do some Xmas shopping. There you go. There's not a lot of space in this column. I don't need to be using this column for this, but I just, I kind of like the idea of having space for some dailies here. And once I've decided if we need more space for dinners or not, I might throw a piece of washi across here to sort of divide that from the rest of the page. We'll see. Um, you know what? I know that we have Advent can candles. Yes. Letter. We're going to be doing a Christmas letter this year. So I have to decide what's actually going on it. We've mostly just stayed at home. I also, earlier today, because I knew I would be filming this, um, jotted down a couple of things. Uh, let's see. that I knew I was going to need to add here. I figured I may as well film myself writing it is not. I need to dust the ceiling fans because they have basically been running for months now. It's been very hot and we don't have AC, but just this week it suddenly, the temperatures dropped like 20 degrees. It's now like our definition of winter is 60s and so I think it might get up to 70 degrees at one point this week, but our fans are turning off now and looking Healthy, so uh, they really need to be cleaned. They also I added more things to do. Where did I add those? No, I don't think I did. Let me just flip 
through this section here. This uh, first tab used to be in the very front, and it was sort of my, like, everything kind of to go through once a day kind of stuff, but it's not necessarily anymore. It's like, yeah, to do never or someday. So, yeah, nothing is really important here, though I do have to keep working on my journal. Um, I only fill this tracker out every so often. What's today? November 8th? Yes, I did finish October. See? I haven't even finished filling out the tracker for no October. The thing about it is you can go in, in um, I was going to say in advance. What's the opposite of in advance? In arrears is only for uh, billing, right? Uh, I'll say I think I at least got there yesterday. I haven't done today's yet. basically it. It's a very simple <laughs> sort of a situation because I have everything set up in advance. So I guess if that's what you like is to be able to set up your month in advance, then the Mun Weeklies are great for that because it also allows you to have that whole monthly view. I can open it up and see what the whole month looks like. So plan ahead. Um, like next week is my birthday. Week after that is Thanksgiving. And I can just kind of keep an eye on what's happening. I think the only thing that was weird is that um, when I did get this dentist appointment time, I didn't want to write it down in here right away because I knew that I was going to want to put a sticker for it, which is weird. And I didn't want to pull out the stickers like there at the, the desk at the dentist office. So I actually put it in my future log and then had to remember to write it down. I probably should have, well, now this next time I will, if I know I need to set up something else, um, just put it in my daily as a rapid log. I do like the idea of a basic daily, and this is what that's just going to look like. And I can kind of put things in a list for that day. Sorry, this uh, washi tape is kind of pulling up at the corner, so I keep pushing at it. I'll be able to take some of these things and copy them over to here. It just helps to keep things, uh, you know, uncluttered to not have them, um, to not have to ignore certain things like this stuff at the top is actually for like Sunday, but it's still on the list with everything that might need to get done today. So I'll just move over the things that I actually think I can get done in a certain day. And that just helps keep things uncluttered. So there we go. That's my thought process as I'm looking forward to the next week. I'm looking forward, not looking forward to my dental appointment, of course, I need to get a filling, but uh, I'm looking forward to the crown coming out. That's exciting. Um, it's kind of crazy to think that there's actually a new TV in a year like this. But uh, yeah, we're also really enjoying The Mandalorian. So that's a lot of fun. And I really like that that's only coming out one episode at a time because otherwise I would probably be exhausted after just binging um, that whole season over the course of two or three days. <laughs> one day a week of one extra hour for bedtime I can handle. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed that um, and that your week is going well and you're looking forward to what it brings to you. I hope that your weather is decent. You know, if cold is good, then I hope that it's cold. Here, cold is 60, like I said, and it is, and I'm really glad because I've been, it's been hot for too long. I've been really looking forward to the cooler weather. Anyway, that's all I have for you today. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. I will see you in the next video on Sunday. Bye.